Okay, guys, today we have some quick, I guess you can call it breaking news and exciting news. And every time we talk about this character, we get really hyped because this character is a fan favorite. And so when I find out anything, I like to let you guys know. And we have just found out some information about Jump Festa and in regards to Shanks and what's coming for Shanks in 2021. So you may be asking, what is Jump Festa? And Jump Festa is a yearly two day anime and manga convention. And it normally takes place in December. And this event is sponsored by Shueisha. And of course, they're the publisher for everything Jump. And here they show off new manga, anime, games, movies, and merch. So you can buy different figures, exclusive things that you can only get there. So it's a big event. So you have panels from different authors, voice actors, all these different things. And this just went down. Every year, we look forward, when I say we, I mean One Piece fans, look forward to this event because Oda normally gives a message or some information about the manga, what's upcoming in the story. And we get really excited because it's new information, things that Oda would like to do. So it's a big moment for us. We've gotten messages from Jump Festa like Sabo Will, Vivi will when Oda talked about what would happen to Sabu and Vivi, the lurking legend stuff, when Wano was going to start. Jump Festa normally has some really great information. This year, because of everything going on, the message was more so geared towards real life and, of course, a specific character. So, Sandman AP, who we trust so much, he posted a condensed version, so I'll read that after. But this is the version posted by the official Twitter account of the One Piece staff, like Oda's editor staff. And this was already translated, and this is what it reads. Hello to everyone who's watching Jump Festa. This wasn't an easy year. Lots of people have been affected by the coronavirus, and I want to give everyone in the industry a round of applause because of their hard work. During all this year, in such a surreal situation, it was a tough year. Regarding Jump, Kimetsu no Yaiba was amazing. I'm really happy it cheered up and made many kinds of people happy. Well done. That's how manga should be. Even I felt moved. Now let's talk about One Piece and this stage. One Piece is reaching chapter 1000 soon. By the time this letter is read, I'll have already handed the manuscript of chapter 1000 and I'll be meeting the voice actors. But I failed at this and it's a pity I couldn't go. Old men and women at the stage, wait. That's not it. Old men and ladies on the stage, are you all fine? Anyway, even if I'm not there, the manuscript of chapter 1000 is more than done. Does it look good? Chapter 1000 will be published in the first issue of this new year. Nice timing. Along with the celebration of chapter 1000, there are a lot of projects in progress. So this first month of 2021 will be very exciting. Volume 100 will also be releasing in 2021. So it will be an incredible year. Do you all want some exciting information regarding the story? That redhead guy may move. The story is moving towards its final stage, so please enjoy next year as well. Ichiro Oda. So guys, I'd also mentioned talking about the condensed version posted by Sandman AP, again, who we love. Sandman consistently posts accurate translations that happens in Japan in regards to One Piece. So again, Sandman is a source we trust. And the condensed version of what Sandman posted is basically, according to Oda's message in Jump Festa today, Shanks will begin to move in 2021. Oda also said he was impressed with Kometsu no Yaiba getting super popular in Japan. So again, shout out to Sandman underscore AP. Follow him on Twitter for all your information needs in regards to One Piece. And follow me as well at Brago D Ace on Twitter. And right now, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. I try to update you guys as frequently as possible when news comes about. So while you're here, before we dissect all of this, just subscribe. There's a lot to unpack, but it's really simplistic in regards to what Oda's trying to convey. And of course, we'll talk about Shanks. But first, we got to talk about how Oda is addressing the coronavirus stuff. You guys may remember earlier in the year when I talked about Oda and him being sick out of nowhere for a couple of weeks in the magazine. Well, One Piece specifically had to go on break. It never came out exactly how Oda was sick or if he had corona or not but that was a speculation because it was a two-week break essentially and now Oda is saying based on everything that's going on he's commending the entire industry because of how they've pressed forward we know for a fact a lot of anime have been delayed even for Haikyuu as an anime some of the episodes were outsourced because of course corona has really thrown a wrench in a lot so for One Piece being able to put out this many chapters this year with Oda getting sick coronavirus and we will reach chapter 1000 the beginning of next year for some of us this year that's amazing to me Oda also congratulated Kamehameha Kimetsu no Yaiba, who has been killing it. Kimetsu no Yaiba has been breaking so many records in regards to manga sales, also movie sales. There's even a report that Kimetsu no Yaiba has single-handedly, because of how many sales it's been getting, helped, if not saved, the Japanese economy. It is wild what's going on with Kimetsu no Yaiba. So for Oda congratulating them, that's a big deal. Now on to what Oda said about 2021 and Red Hair Shanks. That is amazing. That goes in line with my thinking about Shanks and what should happen coming up in the story. And I made a video 
video about it in regards to what happened post Wano in regards to Shanks. But Oda coming out and saying Shanks may move in 2021, that just reinforces my thinking. And what my thinking is, is basically that Shanks is tied to Blackbeard. So when Blackbeard begins to move, Shanks has to move. The last time we saw Shanks, the last couple of times, was one, when he was reading Luffy's bounty saying he can't wait to meet Luffy or they will meet soon. And the second time we all remember when Shanks was going to the Gorose warning them about a certain pirate. So now in 2021, what does that tell us? Well, maybe Wano comes to an end in 2021 or possibly Shanks comes to Wano. I think it's more likely that Shanks makes a move in regards to counter what Blackbeard is doing or at some point engage Blackbeard. A lot of people know by now what's going on in Wano with Big Mom and Kaido. I mean, even Blackbeard talked about it. Shanks should know as well. What if Shanks gets closer to Wano and we get a meeting between Shanks and Luffy, not in 2021, but my prediction is in 2022. But I think Oda mentioning Shanks moving does, again, reinforce my thinking that the four Yanko saga will continue post Wano in regards to Shanks and some Blackbeard stuff. We cannot get the four Yanko saga if we do not get Blackbeard and Shanks stuff. Personally, I am super excited because I'm a huge Shanks fan. A lot of people think I don't like Shanks recently because I may have had him as the weakest Yanko, but I'm not even sure about that, right? That's just something arbitrary. Right now, hearing Shanks may move is a big deal because, again, we may get some Shanks engaging Blackbeard stuff, right? We may get some Luffy meeting Shanks. Again, I think more of this is going to happen in 2022, but I do think in some chapters in 2021, Oda will show Shanks on the move. And Shanks on the move is normally a great thing for the One Piece story, the One Piece fans, and One Piece in general everywhere. So it's crazy as well because we received a fake Jump Festa message and I was streaming at the time and this is my reaction to it because what they said was so crazy. They didn't mention Mihawk losing, M versus Big Mom and Kaido, even specifically pointing out Luffy's and Zoro's moments. Come to find out that was fake, right? So if you read this or come past this at some point, that is fake. The only thing Oda talked about was the coronavirus, meeting the voice actors, and Shanks. That actual translation was a troll by someone in the Discord and his name may be M infamous forever, Rohan from the BDA Discord. So you cannot get trolled by the BDA Discord. That is fake. At this point, the only thing that's been announced that we can confirm is that Shanks will make a move in 2021. So guys, give me your thoughts. How do you feel about all this? I think this is amazing. Some great news about Shanks. Oda hyping up chapter 1000. I expect that to be fantastic. A chapter 1000 video will come out before the chapter drops. I promise you that. And of course, today the analysis is coming out for chapter 999. So guys, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce to see the news instantly. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Guys, Shanks hype incoming. I really can't wait. Thanks again. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Start doubting me, I felt lost. 